All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Maggie presiding. <clears throat> Thank you, Bailiff. <clears throat> you may now take your seats. All right, what do we got here? Okay, uh, hello everybody. My name is Judge Magni, the Honorable Judge Magni, uh, Honorable in uh, quotes to emphasize how honorable I am. Thank you. <laughs> Excuse me. Bailiff? Apol apologies. Apologies. Your Honor. <clears throat> Just a cough. Just a cough. <clears throat> Uh, thank you for joining me today, everybody. Uh, we have a... Let's see what we got here. Okay, seems like we have uh, a case in front of us. Uh, all right, it seems... Ah, uh, really? Okay. All right, let's see. Who do we have? Who do we have here? Ah, uh, okay. Let's see. On time. Okay. Uh, bailiff, uh, you want to take it away right here? Yes, sir, Your Honor. Uh, Petitioner 1, state your name. Regis Altair. Regis Altair, do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you, Mag? I do. Petitioner 2, state your name. Uh, yeah, Axel Sirios here. Axel Sirios, do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you, Mag? Yes, sir. No cap. I'll take that as a yes. Uh, Honorable Judge Magni, we're good to go. Thank you, Bailiff. Okay. Um, so, uh, let's see. Ragus? Is it Ragus? Ragus. Ragus. Uh, y y Your Honor, it's uh, Regis. Excuse me? It's Ragus. You got it correct. Don't correct me. Don't correct me. Exactly. Y y yes, Your Honor. All right. Um, and, uh, a Mr. Uh, Sirios, is it? Okay. Ah, Let's see, Northern Melissa might. You is know, there... I dated a girl from Northern Elysium. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Is, is, isn't there some kind of bias then? Hold on. Wait a second. All right. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. It seems about. like we have uh, we have an issue at hand. It was uh, raised to the court of a uh, court of mag here. Um, the issue, as it stands, everybody, uh, thank you for joining us in the courtroom. But um, it, excuse me, Regis, what did you say? Uh, I will hold nothing. you for contempt, sir. You do not speak you're... while I speak. Your Honor, I didn't say anything. Your Honor, you're on thin ice, Mister. Yes, Your Honor. Thought so. Uh, but thanks, thanks for joining us, everyone. So, yes, I am the Honorable Judge Magni. I have over uh, thirty years' experience in the courtrooms, um, and uh, I, I've been a fair man all my life. I've been in a world. Excuse Order. me, Mister Serios. What was that? Huh? Did I hear you laughing? No, nah, that was him. How oh, could you? I can't believe you actually. I said order what? the courts! Oh, order! All my years. All my years, I tell you. So what we have here are uh, our uh, defendant, plaintiff, um, here to uh, hash out their differences, hash out, uh, you know, the world is an unfair place, the world is a scary place, the world is... Uh, not often we're finding the justice that we so deserve, but, uh, you know, as a... As, 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 the premier judge, Elysium, I, I find it, uh, I take it upon myself to help find find a middle ground, find the, the truth, really. And uh, isn't, isn't that right, Bailiff? Yes, indeed, sir. Fairest judge in all the land. Uh, if anybody says otherwise, we'll kill them. <laughs> we will kill them. We will slit their throats. That's true. Yes. Right. I'll be the one that does it because you're a judge now. You're, you're past such things. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah Axel, do you want to just like and uh, just in the room? Do, you want, do we have to be? Excuse here? me. Order on the court. You're shut he your dumb your ass up, man. It was his fault. You're on thin ice, Mr. Serios. I swear. I another peep out of you. All right. Well, what we have here is that uh, Judge Magni is going to hear both sides of the story, the narrative. And uh, we'll come to a conclusion with uh, the jury. Not only the jury watching, 
but uh the whole world honestly because this is this, this will this is this is broadcasted straight from the uh the magni courtroom so all right let's see all right okay i see ha huh, one of these so the issue at hand it does seem that uh, we have a question is is that right uh, uh boys is that right mm. and there's only one answer okay well, so it seems like the question posed here in front of us is uh, exactly how many holes does a paper towel roll have? And it seems there is a disagreement uh, to exactly how many holes the paper towel roll does indeed have. So, uh, Mr. Rigas, if you would like to present uh, with your opinion very briefly. Your Honor, first of all, I would like to say thank you very much for your time. I know your time is very, very valuable from your very, very busy schedule. You're, you're so, damn uh, straight. Thank you very much, Your Honor. <clears throat> now, if I may start off. This man here, Axel Sirius, has Hi. said some blasphemous things. He said that a paper towel roll has one hole. And Your Honor, I can't disagree more. And it makes me livid. It makes me so angry. So, if, if correct me if I'm wrong, Mr. Vagus, but are you are you saying exactly how many holes do you think a paper towel roll has? Your Honor, there's evidence beyond belief that a paper towel roll has two holes. I won't stand for anything else. Interesting, interesting, Mr. Sirios. Uh, I'd care to to comment. I'm going to just keep it simple. It's got one hole. Mm. That's all I can say about it. Very interesting. Very interesting. Okay. I, I see why this was brought to my attention. Let me see here. Uh, if I can find... What chapter? No, that's bird law. Where? What are we working with? Interesting. <laughs> um, bailiff. No, what no, are your no, thoughts no. about what was presented here while I get this? Um... Both both uh, petitioners presented their cases eloquently, but I do feel like uh, there needs to be some facts and evidence presented before we could come to a decision. I I don't think. I do think they should argue their case. Here, here. Provide, provide evidence. Okay. Okay. Yes. All right. Well, it it does seem I'm looking over the records now, and it does seem like this is a, a classic case. Um, it does seem unfortunate that 47 people had to lose their lives over this, and for it to come to here. But I'm very interested, uh, Mr. Regis, do you want to open with a, a, a statement to further uh, back your claims? Uh, Your Honor, it's Ragus. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, uh, <clears throat> all right. So, listen to me loud and clear. Jury, judge, everyone, the world. Now then, it all depends on how, how big the space is between the two holes is, correct? With a ring, let's say you have a nice wedding ring. That has one hole, because the spacing between the two holes is so small that it's just basically one hole. However, Shaco from Legal... Uh, uh, a paper towel roll has much space in between the two holes. So therefore, it is two holes, not one. That is my case. That's very interesting. Um, but where do we draw the line here is what I think not only me, but a lot of people are wondering uh, a, a toilet paper roll. Um, what if we cut it in half? What is the situation here? Well, my argument against that is that if, if you have at least one finger width in between the two holes, then that becomes two holes. If it's less than that, if it's smaller than that, for example, a ring, then that would be one hole. You know, it, it's all about the size. Size matters, although sometimes it doesn't. <clears throat> interesting, interesting. Okay, I'm, 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 I hear you loud and clear, but Mr. Sirios, I, I've been watching your body language over there. I, I don't know exactly if you agree with the statement. Um, would you care to, uh, to present a rebuttal to Mr. Ragus here? Yes, sir. Uh, so, uh, not gonna lie, I wasn't really listening to what he was saying in his explanation, <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna just say. Why, why does he goddamn talk so much? Why, do you have, why does he have such a reasoning? It's very one hole. Point. It's simple as that. Be it's very one fair hole. Point. Let, it, let, let the record show. Let the record show. I'm right. I'm noting that down. Continue, Mr. Sirius. 
But yeah, you know, like uh, people who like the bullshit, you know, they like to talk a lot, you know, talk to look, talk, talk a lot of shit, you know, and that's what I feel like this man's doing right here, talking about all the length and size. There's one hole, Objection, and that's Your Honor. it. He's not saying the truth. He's just attacking me personally on a personal level. He needs to see the facts. He needs to see the evidence. Your Honor. No, no, let's hear what he has to say. Continue, Mr. Serious. I don't know. Like, why exactly do you... Why exactly, if you had to make just a singular statement, why? The reason. You had to explain it. Why? Why? Conv convince the jury here. Look at them. Think about it. Is one long hole. That's it. That's... It's one hole with two entrance points. That's how you talk about it, you know? It's not Aren't two holes. It's points holes, though? No, they're not. For example, if you dig all the way through the earth from one side to the other, is that one hole or two holes in the earth? That's one hole. Interesting. I, I think I would like to... Please, I... I think what would help us all here, me included, is if you could present to us maybe perhaps some examples to to draw parallels to your case in point. Um, maybe that would that would help me. Regis, do you have any examples of some other situations where uh, the yes, whole may count? I go. Okay, sure, may Axel, I go. go go ahead. All right, think about it, sir. So this man just brought up that if he dig a, let's just say a hole, this man stated through one one side of the earth to the other side. Now that's not a hole. That's a goddamn tunnel, all right? That's not a hole. Do you go to the highway? Do you see like do you see a tunnel? Do you call that a hole? No, you don't, right? You don't call that shit a hole. That's called a tunnel. Your Honor, I would like to present uh uh evidence beyond beyond doubt. Okay, granted. Thank you, Your Honor. <clears throat> Your mouth is a hole. Oh. Your butt has a hole. Uh. Those two are loosely connected inside. Would you consider that just one hole then? Or do you consider that two holes? Would you, do you rather have one mouth hole or would you just have a butt hole? <laughs> Objection! Granted. Let's hear it, Mr. Serious. There's more holes than that in the body, alright? You gotta talk about those holes too. They don't all connect like that. Doesn't matter if there's a hole, there's a way, okay? How about this? How about this? How about this? What? Two ears. Do you consider that one hole or two holes? One hole. Because each ear doesn't connect to each other, right? Mm. Yaron, I'd like to hear your thoughts on this. This is an interesting conundrum. Well, I, I do see here from... Uh, it's a fair point. Thank you for presenting some uh, concrete examples of... Uh, to help bolster your, your case here. But, you know, I, I do see here in my notes that I think the argument would be made that there is a complexity issue involved. There is, uh, in the case of the toilet paper roll, it is very clear from point A to point B or from throughout a singular uninterrupted holage. But with the, the, the body, it, there's twists and turns. It's, 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 it's more complicated. So... I, I hear your case, and it, it does help us uh, when make, ultimately reaching a conclusion, but um, I, I would like to hear, um, Axel, if you have any other examples uh, to help present to the jury uh, uh, sim similar to how Altair does. Do you have any examples you can tell us? Well, yes, sir. I'm going to just uh, talk about this man's phrasing. So this man has been saying a whole a hole, non-stop. And what does a hole mean? It means one hole, right? Very, very, very interesting. Very interesting. I see your point. That's, I'm giving you note of that. Go ahead. I've only been saying one hole because I talk about the individualistic holes. For example, the ear has a hole, but there's two ears. So that would automatically multiply it to two holes. I thought that was elementary math, my friend. Dear Axel Sirius. Objection. I think he's uh, making fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <clears throat> I do think this is, this is quite unethical, Mr. Regis. I don't, I don't know if this is a place for the per personal attacks. This is not the time and place. We, we, what we're worried about is, is facts. Order. Order. 
We're worried about facts here, the truth, justice. We can't be obscured by how how dumb and or smart a person might be, how tall and or short a person might be. He's or the dumb one. I'm the tall one. I'm the wait. Yeah, I'll go with that one. I'm the tall one. How big of a dumpy they have and or do not have and uh but yeah, okay. Okay, interesting here. Well, hmm. It, 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 do you hear that? No, you're right. That, that, that is not conduct befitting the court of the Honorable Judge Magni. I will thank you not to spit on the floor of this court. Thank you very much. S sir, I, I apologize. I am merely ill. I am merely sick with it, as the kids may say. If we have Dr. another Stroke? outburst like that, Mr. Regis... You were granted. You were granted this opportunity to defend yourself. Do you know the paperwork I had to do to get you out of your thirty-seven-year imprisonment? Hmm. Yeah, if you have another outburst like that, we're gonna send you straight back. I'm gonna add another ten years to your sentence. You have an opportunity <laughs> here to defend yourself in this case. Yeah, yeah, yes, Your Honor. However, I, I would like to argue that that is a separate court case and uh, it does not apply over here. Order. Objection. Go ahead, Mr. Sirius. I don't think the Shadow Realm is enough of this, man. I think you got to send him to somewhere like North Elysium instead, you know? Okay. Let I, him learn the hard way. Mr. Sirius, I, I appreciate I appreciate the concern, but you, you let me, you let the judge worry about the sentencing. Um, f as for you, Regis, uh, before we continue here, I will have to have you lick up that spit off the floor. <laughs> Return it from whence it came. Yes, Your Honor. Yeah. <clears throat> thank you, thank you. Okay, well, I don't think I'm convinced either way. Honestly, you just uh, for the the examples given to me, I don't find a good one to one comparison here. And frankly, I could go either way. It could be a toy cost for all I know. Um, Regis, why ex sure. why exactly? Well, let me present it this way. A hole. Holes? What is, how do you define a hole to begin with? I'm wholly convinced that a hole is... <laughs> order! Order! I will not have puns in my courthouse! Another outburst like that. You're on thin ice, mister. But continue. Yes, Your Honor, that is very fair. Okay. <clears throat> I believe that a hole is simply a space, an annex, in an object, correct? Go on. However, it could be two. For example, if you dig it from one side and then dig it from the other side, and they meet together, that's still two holes. Interesting. It's just the space in between. That's one. Interesting. Mr. Sirios, how would you define a hole, the definition of a hole? Yes, sir. Uh, the definition of a hole is a hole. Simple as that. But let me talk about it. So this man ordered if if someone digs from one end and then another person digs from another end and they meet together, that's two holes. No, that's wrong. If one man digs a hole from, let's just say, the right side and another man digs from the left and they haven't met yet. Yes, that is two holes. One like each individual hole on the left and the right, but if they meet together, that combines them, making a one long hole. A tunnel, essentially, sir. Interesting. Hey, hey, hey. that's ceremonial copium. Don't take that. That's ceremonial copium. Yes, sir. Apologies, sir. Used. I've heard both sides of the argument here. I, I would say uh, Mr. Sirio's here. There, There's an argument to presented uh, a point of view where in terms of math you take two numbers and and i guess i present this to you as well mr regis you have a number one and two let's just say you divide that number in half right and yes, you there's a number in between that correct yes your honor there's a number in between one and two the halfway point and then you take that point in between one and that new halfway point, you can divide that in half, correct? Yes, Your Honor. And there's a number in between that. 
Yes, Your Honor. And in between that new number and one, there is yet another halfway point. Yes, Your Honor. Could you not continue to do that infinitely? Is there not infinite holes in between we, two holes? If we argue that, if we argue that, Your Honor, then I believe I am the closer one to being correct because two is closer to infinity than one. I don't know, Mr. Objection. Sirius. Yes, Objection. Mr. Sirius. Then define for me what is infinity. <laughs> yes, Regis, Mr. Regis. What exactly is infinity? Your Honor, infinity is the size of your, of your brain. It is extremely, absolutely, magnificently large. Objection. Go ahead, Mr. Sirius. Define to me what is a brain? Something that you don't have? <laughs> Personal attack, judge. This is what Sir, I was. I'll allow facts. it. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. This Continue. Is, yes. Yes. Huh? Your Honor, infinity is something that is unachievable by most. However, I believe that you, Your Honor, have the most experience with infinity. Infinitely handsome, infinitely smart, infinitely talented, infinitely tall. Yes, Your Honor. I believe that you, you may be the truth. And I'm the closest to the truth compared to this, uh, <clears throat> man. I like what I hear. I like what I'm hearing right now. I don't know, Mr. Sirius, I'm being honest. It's not up to me. I can only, I can only mediate the situation here. I can only, um, uh, help decide what, what happens, but it's ultimately up to the, up to the jury, but I'm liking what I hear right now. Do you have anything that you want to say before we, we pass this up to the jury? I mean, I can say kind things to you, sir, or I can, I can... Such as? It depends, sir. How do you want it? Do you want it, like, the cash methodical way, or do you want it the word twister way? Like, which way do you want it, sir? I can pick either one for you, sir. This is not... You're turning it around on me. That's not what I asked you. Don't answer my question with another question, Mr. Sirios. Okay, so let's just say I, I like you, sir. You're a good man. I like you. I like, I like your cut, sir. Um, good enough for me. That's what I like. That, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Serios. I don't know. No I think we're back on an even playing field after that, if I'm being honest. Well, I think um, at this point, in the, we have more cases to get through. So, um, unfortunately, I am going to have to ask for final statements here from either one of you. Mr. Regis, would you like to say any last closing statements before we put this up to the jury? Yes, Your Honor. May, may I address the jury? Go ahead. Okay. Magnificent Magmites. Now, there may be many of you. There may be infinite of you. However, don't let that crush your dreams. Don't let that squash your dreams. And don't let that squash your support from me. The two whole toilet paper roll. <laughs> that, that was a nice rhyme. <clears throat> uh, enthusiast. Yes. Two is closer to infinity than one. And two is the only answer the only correct answer at this moment thank you very much for your time i appreciate it i know that some of you guys had to pay for your own parking sometimes you know you didn't have to you had to pay for your own food i understand the difficulties of being part of the jury but hey i'm cutting you off right there so don't you whether the the appropriate price of the parking i think is is very fair uh, only the fairest here in the courtroom. I don't. I don't think you should be. D don't ever bring that up again in my courtroom, Mr. Yes, Sirios. Sure, my apologies. Any closing statements here for the jury? Yeah. Uh, so, cheers for taking your time with us today, sir. Um, this man always talking about two and more and stuff. Just not loyal. He wants more than one option all the time. I don't think he's loyal at all. You know, I'm all about that loyalty. So, thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Sirios. So, Jury, you've heard both sides of the argument here. Uh, before we do take it um, to a conclusion, I would like to present to you uh, a further case here that uh, I... If I'm being honest with you, Regis, Sirius, um, I've been privy to more information than I've let on. And so I would like to present another facet to this case for the jury to consider. Um, I think it's very related, and I think it's uh, to answer this question here. Um, is cereal soup? No. Y Your Honor, is this is this uh, is cereal soup in the lump? Is cereal soup? No. Go ahead, cereals. Well, let me talk about it. 
Whenever you get soup at a restaurant, or you ask for, for soup, what do you ask for? Soup, right? Do you ever want to eat a bowl of cereal and ask someone, Hey, yo, can I get some soup? No, you never do Your that, Your Honor, right? I would like to do an objection. Go ahead. Granted. Most restaurants don't even serve cereal. So why would they even put it on the list of soups? If you, Objection. If you ask your parents, can I have some soup, and they give you cereal, that's okay, because they have cereal. However, the restaurants don't have cereal. Therefore, I think that's moot. Interesting. Serious. Care to respond to that? Well, I'm sorry I go to very cheap restaurants, then if they have cereal, what's, bad, what's the matter with that, huh? They have cereal. That's fair. Restaurant. That's fair. Regis, I do feel like you are restaurant shaming cereals here. Perhaps... Perhaps they do serve cere cereal. Cereal. Cereal cereal. <laughs> I thought we weren't allowing puns in this. Excuse in this me? The judge, the judge can do any pun he wants. It's you know what? Honorable judge exactly. Court. You know what? We've had, there's been far too many, far too many outbursts from you today, Regis. Bailiff, Bailey Vesper, would you kindly go over there and smack him up a little bit? Uh, uh. Here, you, you can yes, just sir. Yes, yes, sir. just okay, take this, yeah. just like here, <laughs> take this, yeah. okay. just like throw this at him like really hard, okay? Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. I'll serve you. Serve you right. Okay, well, I, I'd like to ask you another question here to, to consider. And uh, jury, please remember, keep this all in mind when we're deciding who exactly is in the wrong here um, at, the, at the end of the uh, courtroom case. But I do have another question I wanted to ask you. Um, Mr. Regis. Is he dead? <laughs> yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. <laughs> this is not the time and place for this. This is highly unprofessional behavior. Please rise. Your Honor, I'm injured. Please. My head hurty. Your honor. Shorter than ever once again. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Very good point. I don't know. It's not looking good for your for Regis here. I mean, jury. Look at them. Your they're, honor, they're I would like to ask the jury for their opinion, if I may. Granted. Wonderful magmites, wonderful jury. <laughs> Have you ever been to a restaurant where they offer you actual cereal for a, a a uh, a full meal. They're, I can't see, I, they're I throwing can't see tomatoes at us. Order in the court. Stop no, with the tomatoes. Nice. You like tomatoes, don't you? I do. I do. And you know what? I think I would I would think favorably about any any defendant and or plaintiff that enters my courtroom that also likes tomatoes. So, Mr. Regis, what are your thoughts on tomatoes? Uh, tomatoes are amazing. They're the best. For, they're the best in the world. Okay. Okay, moving on. We don't have much time here. We don't have much time here. So I'd like to present another situation. I'd like to hear both sides of, uh, of uh, your opinions on this. And uh, after this, I think we'll be able to come to a conclusion. Uh, enough with the tomatoes. Order in the court. Enough with the tomatoes. Stop. 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 Uh, what, one last situation I'd like to present to you both. And uh, please, again, I ask that you answer as truthfully as possible so that the jury here can come to an honest opinion about who is being sentenced to um, in uh, 50 years of torture and imprisonment. And uh, a lot is on the, on the, on the line here. What? Um, bailiff, question? I yeah, I didn't, I didn't know that, I didn't know that 50 years of torture and 50 years of, of torture, of torturous. It, it's, you know, I, I think you often hear the uh, punishment fits the crime. Well, I have a different saying in my courtroom, and that's 50 years of torture. <laughs> your Honor. Your so Honor. a lot is on the line. Yes, I would Mr. Like Regis. To, I would like to request a recess, and uh, I would like to have like a conversation between me, Axel, and the plaintiff, if possible. Denied. Moving on. No. I would like to ask you one last question here, and that question is, would you rather, <laughs> if you had to pick, die in exactly 10 minutes from now, or live till the end of time, forever? We'll start with you, 
Mr. Sirios. With me, sir. All right. Thank you for giving me this opportunity, sir. So I would die in the, you know, in the next 10 minutes or 30 minutes. Interesting. Like, you don't want to live to the end of time. Why? The reason that this is because, first of all, you, mean, you mentioned about, you know, the 50 years of torture. And I don't want that. Simple as that. You know, I'm an honest man. I don't want that. So I would rather die in 10 minutes, 30 minutes if I'm going to have to take that, you know? Second of all, imagine all the suffering and losses you are going to experience from living that long. Do you want to see your loved one dying right in front of you? I don't want that. So, Your Honor, I don't know. I'll, this man like always... Granted, go ahead, Mr. Regis. Axel Sirius just spoke in the, pa in the tense as if he has already lost the battle. He said he would not like to do the 50 years of sentencing that would be coming towards him. That I is true. I believe he has already admitted defeat. That is true. It does Objection. seem... Objection! Objection. Go ahead, Mr. Sirius. I'm just a humble man. I never think I'm winning, you know? I just always have to think. Your that... Honor, he doesn't think at all. Interesting. Interesting. Both, I, feel, I believe both points are correct. I do think we like a little humility in the court. Something that I think you could uh, uh, learn from, Mr. Regis, but... Yes, Your Honor. I would like to hear your thoughts on the question post. Would you rather die in exactly 10 minutes from now or live to the end of time? May I ask one question, Your Honor? Granted, go ahead. Will I be able to die any time if I live forever? No, forever. Even when the sun explodes in, in 8 billion years? Hmm. Bailiff Esper, what do you think is an appropriate time limit forever? Thoughts uh, on the situation presented? Judge, I would say forever, yes. I like think it has... You'll be floating in space, unable to breathe, and you're just out there, and you can't die. Right, you've seen, you've seen Jojo? Exactly, yes, sir. Exactly. Yeah, you know how cars get sent into space, and he has to yes. like stop it. Right, right. It's like, it's like that, Mr. Regis. It's like that. <clears throat> Your Honor, I would like to argue that I would like to live out my life through, no matter how long that life may be, whether that's billions of years, trillions of years, quadrillions of years, I would like to live forever. Objection! Go ahead, Mr. Serios. He's just a greedy little piece of shit. What? He wants to live so Your long. Honor, that's a personal he's attack. That's fair, greedy. Very fair. He's greedy. Card. Mr. Regis, do not interrupt. You had your time to speak. It's only fair you let Mr. Serios speak. Mr. Serios, right, continue. Ten, like, ten seconds. <clears throat> I am just being an honest man. I think that he's not humble. He's a greedy man, and he should be sent uh, to the torture chamber or for fifty years. Fifty years. Least. Fifty years torture. Yes. Mm. Regis, how do you respond? Your Honor, th this there's quite a lot of hypocrisy in this courtroom. I believe that uh, the the oath, the oath that we all took at the very beginning is being slandered upon every single moment. How so? There's been things that uh, the Honorable Judge Magni has said, you know, not to do. Do this, don't do this. However, I don't think I, I like your tone, Mister. Your Honor, you're be careful. absolutely correct. I, be I very careful. <clears throat> Objection. Might I argue, might I argue, that if you live forever, correct, then you have the opportunity to climb up in the ranks. First, you might be just a lowly, you know, you might be just a lowly, you know, regular old Joe, right? However, through time, through hundreds, thousands of years, you have the knowledge, you have the experience to climb your way up in society. Slowly but surely. First, president of Elysium. Second, ruler of the entire world. Third, ruler of the entire galaxy. And eventually, you will ascend to godhood. And when you're in godhood, you have everything. So Objection! Go ahead, Mr. Sirios. I'm gonna have to cut you off there, Mr. Regis. Thank you. Mr. Sirios, go I ahead. I don't understand what he's saying. That's a fair point, Can't Mr. Can't he just Sirius. keep it simple? Like, exactly. honestly, what's all this talking, you know? That's what keep I'm it saying, simple. Man. That's what I'm Your saying, Honor, man. This man does not have any conviction, nor does he have any ambition. Sirius, ambition how do you respond? This world. Can you explain it in simpler words for me, <laughs> sir? <laughs> There's 9,500 people watching right now. Why can't you explain it in much simpler terms? Why do you gotta be like the god, this, that, the, the whatever, this, that? 
God Your damn honor, it. May, may I simplify this? <laughs> that is not acting. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead, Mr. Regis. <clears throat> Axel. Axel, my dear boy, Axel. Slowly uh, over time, you become bigger and bigger and bigger until you're as big as nobody can touch you, including the laws of the universe. So, including objection. the laws of this courtroom. Objection. Granted, objection. granted, granted, Mr. Sirius. So that means that this man, by saying he wants to live forever, he wants to become bigger than any. He's a greedy little piece of shit once again. I'm telling you, sir. Honor, he's trying to take. That's fair. He's trying to. He's trying to take over everything in this world, and I think that's a bad thing. Simple as that. I don't think anybody wants to live forever in a little dirt hut on the side of the road. No, no, no. They want power. They want money. They want influence. You are they grateful want... little piece of. They want game permissions. Imagine. 20 years in the future, Hall Life Productions cannot get game permissions for this one game. Who do you ask? The person who owns it. And who would that be during that time? That would be me. That would be me. Ooh. That's very interesting. Very interesting. Oh. Your Honor, if you want game permissions, I will give it to you. Is that Objection. something you're confident? Go ahead, Mr. Objection. Serio. Can Go ahead. Can you get me the Square Enix game perm then? That's what I'm waiting for. I like Factorio. <laughs> Could you give me Factorio permissions? Ask me 20 years. Order, order in the court. <laughs> order in the court. <laughs> order in the court. The only permissions that are being granted. <laughs> <laughs> permission to beg, Your Honor. <laughs> permission to beg. The only, the only permissions I'm granting are the permissions for D's. Understood. Settle down. Settle Defense, down. Your Honor. Excuse me? That was Axel, Your Honor. Axel. Ah? Mr. Sirios. Did I just... Did I just hear that correctly? Nah, this man bullshitting right here. I said no cap. I promised that to stop. No cap. I made it. No cap has been invoked. No cap. No oh, cap. Serious, no cap. Aren't you, huh? No cap. No, no cap. cap. No cap. I would like to ask one more question. Yes, Ron. Is a hot dog a taco? Mr. Regis. Your Honor, may, may, I, uh, may I abstain for, for just a second? Granted, Mr. Sirios, is a hot dog a taco? I don't think so. <laughs> Would you care Let to... Let me get my reasoning. Sure. Does taco have a relish in it? I don't think so, Mr. No. Serios, no. Well, that's a given answer right there, sir. Your Honor, may I ask what your opinion is on this? <laughs> I don't think relish is the defining factor for a taco. I th I Right. Mm. I, I think... Uh, I think it, we're more concerned about the bun... And and shell of the taco being comparable to one another, not not the relish. If if I'm being honest, bailiff, thoughts. Uh, what about like a hinge cut sandwich? That's kind of the same thing, right? Ah, uh, you're referring to like if you took a single slice and you you put the stuff in and then you like folded it. Does that become yeah. uh, interesting, Mr. Serios? Well, I would like to hear you speak on the matter. May I talk? Yes, thank you, sir. So let me explain. Why is it called a taco then, not a hot dog? If it if it was a hot dog, why is it called a sandwich if it wasn't a hot dog? Right? They all have the individual name. It's like calling Mr. Ragus, you know, Mr. Axel. It's just, it's it's like it's the same. Like they all have their names. So why would they be the same thing? That is true. However, at the same time, a square is also a rectangle. So, I mean, a hot is that dog true, or is a rectangle a, a square? I believe that a square is a rectangle, Your Honor. Objection. Granted. I'm too dumb, so I can't answer this one. Interesting. But, yes, but let me say that. Think about it this way: if the buns. Yes. Like, the buns are kind of thick in a hot dog, right? But okay. have you ever seen a thick taco? I'm all about the buns. Bailiff. You ever seen it's, a thick taco? It, um like a like a gordita? 
they're kind of they're kind of fluffy and thick. Uh, kind of thick, good. yeah, little yeah, thickums. Like like yeah, pretty thickums. Like I would say like twenty percent thickums. Not not a hundred, but twenty. I think twenty is fair. Twenty is fair. I think even twenty five is. To present my go ahead, Mr. Regis. Taco Bell. <laughs> go ahead. Your Honor, do you trust the Oxford Dictionary? Continue. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> now, under the definition under the Oxford uh, Dictionary, a taco is, as says, a noun. It is not a hot dog. <laughs> I think... I, 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 Dude, I... somebody in your chat said a gordita is not a taco. Shut up! A gordita <laughs> is a taco, damn it! I apologize. <clears throat> Talking out of turn. It's fair. It's fair. No, you're, you're totally within your rights. Be careful. Jury, you're standing. Look how close he is to you. You know what? Bailiff, you see that one closest to you? Why don't you give him a little smack? Just to show him. Oh, of course, of course, of course. Take that! And... Oh. Yeah. You better be careful. Your Honor, that magmite's blood is all over the walls. <laughs> He splooshed. No, that's He'll tomato. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of tomatoes ever are being thrown. Mm. How it is a noun. A taco is a noun. However, it is also a Mexican dish consisting of a fried tortilla, I, typically folded, filled with various mixtures such as seasoning. I'd like to stop you right there, and I'd like to I'd like to ask, or not ask, but I I I, I worry about the danger of of letting the dictionary uh, uh, control us here. Um, Your Honor, is I a word it is, a... is a word defined by what some singular person wrote in a book 200 mm -hmm. years ago, or is it defined by how it's used in everyday life? Seems like a very prescriptivist uh, yeah, way of I thinking. Go for another dictionary, hold on. Give me one second, Your Honor. Uh, objection, objection. Granted, Mr. Serious. If we could just look up the terms in the dictionary and stick to that, why do we need Judge Magni? You were exactly you were denying his existence, Mister Ragus. I exactly. Honor, I shall consult a a more objection. Objection. Granted, Mister Serious. Dictionary. What? I like nachos more too. So, Taco Your Honor, that doesn't have dog. anything to do with it. Axel Serious. Yes, sir. You you hold that a talk uh, a hot dog is a taco or is not a uh, not a taco? Oh, is not a taco. And this man just said it. He read the dictionary. Literally said in the dictionary, right? So he's killing himself. Judge Magni. Yes. We can't let him kill himself. If you do not want to rely on a book that someone has written two hundred years ago, may I present a definition from the Urban Dictionary? from July 23rd, 2003, by a person named Lexi, quote-unquote, taco girl. Therefore, very, <laughs> very, very studious. Granted. Please present. Uh -huh. The definition of a taco is the best food ever made. Is a hot dog the best food ever made? No. Like Therefore, it is not a taco. Case closed. It's kind of a desperation food, right? Like, it's not really... Wait, I thought yeah. this man was on the side where taco is a hot dog. What the no, fuck? He just said it. I never put it. I never put it. Let me have an order in the court. Am I, am I being... It, 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 correct me if I'm wrong, but if I'm understanding. Are, so it seems like both Mr. Axel Serios, Mr. Regis Altair, you are both on the side that a hot dog is not a taco. Is this correct? Yes, Your Honor. Yeah, so I guess we could just shake hands yeah. on this one then. We're gonna shake hands and walk out. You will not oh, shake shit. hands. Hey, time. hey, order! There will be no shaking of hands. There will be no touching of hands in my hands. court. This is an honorable place, a say so place, professional place. There will be no touching of any hands. In fact, I got my, I got my eye on you. I better not see any hands extend from either side of the table. I should. I. I better not see any touching of fingers, interlocking of pinkies, or anything of the sort. Yes, do I make sure. myself clear? Understood. How do we touch each other then? You what don't. Are we meant to do? <laughs> oh, okay. Don't touch each other, Mister Serious. Okay. Okay. So I've presented some some cases, Excellent. some some uh Excellent. some situations the for team, right? the jury to yes. to mull over. It seems we have three conflicting. Hey, order, order the court. Both of us are just. 
Mr. Regis, where are your legs? <laughs> you come in, you come to my court without any legs? How are you gonna stand here and present your case when you have no legs to stand Shameful on? Shameful display. What is wrong with you? I think he oh. dropped him when he when he got when he got. Mr. Sirius, do you have legs? Yeah, I do. I, I got legs. Prove it. No. Fair. Fair. <laughs> what is this? Okay, so we've we've presented the situations. You've heard their their both sides of the story. Um, paper towel, uh, paper, a uh, paper towel roll. How many holes does it have? Uh, uh, would you rather die in ten minutes or uh, uh, live to the end of time? Is a hot dog a taco? Is cereal soup? I we presented it as clearly as we can. Um, now before I give it up to the jury to decide who is going to be suffering fifty, mm, sixty years of torture. <gasps> would you like to make any closing statements? I'll start with you, Mr. Regis. Thank you, Your Honor. <clears throat> I would like I would like to thank the jury. I would like to thank the audience. And I would, of course, like to thank the plaintiff and the dear Judge Magni for your time today. The thank last you. words I would like to say about this subject is make sure to stream Top of the World on Spotify and Apple Music and any other <laughs> stream platforms. Make sure to stream Mafia on whatever those things too. Make sure to watch all of our weekly collabs and also buy our merch that's on Amazon that your lovely Judge Magni has drawn up. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you for the time. Thank Appreciate you. It. Thank you, Mr. Regis. Mr. Sirios, any closing statements? Hey, guys. Um, I heard this was on live telly, so... Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Um, I'm gonna be grabbing some food later, so if anyone wants to come grab some food with me, yeah, feel I'll free to it. come. Yeah, feel free to yeah. come. Uh, yeah. Um, thank you. Bye. Very, 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 very fair. So, jury, this is what we're gonna do. Um, in case I didn't make this clear, what exactly is being presented here to you? Well, frankly, um, there is a case of uh, uh, um, uh, several murders. Very brutal. And both Mr. Regis Altair and Mr. Axel Sirius were found at the uh, location of these murders. Very brutal. Um, and the way that we decide who is who was guilty is not through evidence of the scene. We don't analyze the crime scene, but we have them come here and we they argue um, uh, 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 very important subjects such as is cereal soup? How many holes does a paper towel roll have? And now that we've presented that, uh, their sides to this, we are going to decide who is in fact guilty for these murders. So I leave it up to you. We're going to give five minutes on the clock while uh, the jury um, comes to a, 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 a decision here. We'll allow Mr. Uh, Regis Altair and Mr. Sirios to uh, try to vie for you. We, we do it we, usually in a normal courtroom. We have the jury go into another room and, uh, you know, deliberate and come out. But I, I like to have the defendants uh, beg uh during it uh, you never know you never know um so i'll leave it up to you who is in fact guilty and um might i remind you in addition to the the to the 70 years of torture that they will be uh suffering they will also be forced to do a botsu oh. to my discretion Ooh. so please i ask you please consider what you've heard here today and come to a conclusion go ahead we will have five minutes who is guilty regis altair axel Sirios, and to the defendants here your any Honor, last like any last words Altair is not Altair is completely innocent on this mm. interesting interesting yes i don't even know what it means to be guilty so i think i'm innocent <laughs> just by the matter of fact of that you know that's fair that's fair um mm. jury it seems the jury is 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 we also do it differently here it, we don't like we keep like a, a running uh, like a running tally <laughs> like a horse race um, for everyone to see it, we just out there. I, I don't think it's, it's not looking good for you. I think you have a few more minutes to, uh, uh, try to argue your case here. Okay. One second, one second. One. <clears throat> hey guys. Hey, listen, chat. Objection. Chat. Granted. I did nothing wrong. Okay. Granted, Mr. What does objection. What does objection actually mean? Bailiff, would you care to would you care to answer this question for me? Do I have to? Yes. 
<laughs> what does objection mean? It means that you think he's wrong. <laughs> okay, thank you. Yeah. Continue, Regis. <laughs> There's no I way. Like to start off. You know what it means, you... <laughs> By saying that Altair is 100% innocent. Objection. Axel is 100% innocent. Now the one person that was not found there, who probably ran away, just like he ran away from the zombies in Zomboid. I'm looking at one particular judge here. And I think, I think that he's not above the law either. Regis, now, Altair, are you, what exactly are you insinuating here? I'm insinuating that these potions on the desk, Your Honor, are potions made to forget. However, I do not forget. And I saw a little hand, in fact, six hands, fleeing away from this crime scene. As me and Axel, we were just walking alongside the road, eating some nice ice cream, having a cheeky talk as a spicy, uh, as the shiny spicy duo. And we came across the bodies. And all I'd like to say is that there was one person that wasn't there. Vesper, I know he wasn't. He, he was asleep. He was asleep. You know, yeah, he yeah, was getting yeah. his beauty yeah, asleep. Yeah. He yeah. would never be awake at that time. Pretty much, yeah. But there is one other person, and I think he is right here with us in the courtroom. Take off that dun, fake wig. Dun, dun. We just out tear. I don't like these. Yes. I don't like these yes. allegations. I don't. I don't. I don't like these words I'm hearing. And I don't think I'll ever hear them again because it seems like, according to the jury, no one's going to hear you say these things in bro, the deepest. Were we playing Apex on the night in question? We were. We were, yeah. in oh fact, God. playing we Apex. We were totally Legends. playing Apex the entire night. Vouch? Wait. Vouch? Vouching? Vouch. So, Vouch. So, Vouch. So if Regis. it wasn't me or Axel, and if it wasn't you and Vesper, then who was it? May I have a saying in this? Yes, Mr. Yeah. Sirius, go ahead. Please have a look at the person behind of you. What? <gasps> Mr. Magni Desmond. No! Oh. No! Please, Please look to your left, Mr. Magni Desmond. He has been here with us this whole time. Uh, no. Well, He's the last person I would have thought. I'm, I am a fair man, and I don't think I can allow additional evidence to come in after the fact, after we've asked the jury to delegate, and it does seem like Regis Altair guilty, 74%. Yeah, it's not close. Do I get something for winning, by the way? You escaped the 70 years of torture, and also the boxer. <laughs> 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 I don't win like cash or anything. You you do. I I think I think here in this courtroom, I think what we can do is come to a conclusion. Um, and Mr. Sirios, re your reward for being innocent here. Also, bailiff, I think I think it's time for you to restrain Mr. Altair. And, and now that the jury has decided, we don't want him I fleeing the scene. Yes, sir, Your Honor. Yes, sir. I was innocent. Come here, Mr. Mr. Axel. We're taking you to processing. We're taking you to processing. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Mr. Regis Altair will be making a a a a Twitter voice tweet. Batsu, Mr. Axel Serios, I give you the honor of deciding what exactly Regis Altair will have to be tweeting out. Oh shit. Hmm. What's something good? Well, may I ask? Do it. You'll never make me do it. May what, I you? What the, We're taking you to the, the viewers fellas. want. What would the viewers want? Okay, they we... have been streaming today on the TV, so... The viewers want justice! They want penalties! They want justice! And they got cover justice. Them up, cover them up! And cover they up. got justice. No! He sounds <laughs> damn like Morty. He kind of reminds me of Morty squealing. Hmm. Hmm. They're censoring me! They're censoring me! I don't, I don't know what's the what's the what's I a good my time make some recommendations. Uh, you could have him do some baby talk like he was a little baby. <laughs> All right, we'll just go with that. Let's go. All right, Regis Altair, I, the Honorable Judge Magni, hereby sentence you to make a voice Batsu tweet, uh, uh, doing some baby talk, minimum ten seconds in length.
I, I expect that to be on the Twitter scape by the end of the day. Mr. Sirios, I'm so sorry we had to, you know, this is this is the, the system for justice. I'm sorry we had to bring you here and subject you to this, but I'm glad we were able to find the truth at the end of this. Um, There's always only one truth, you know. Mm -hmm. No cap. Yes, sir. I think I'm straight, brother. Thank you for the uh, people joining and for people tuning into this episode of Judge Magdi. We are very excited to uh, finally have the uh, uh, this 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 palace of justice open um, to get to the bottom of, of of these things, of these murders, of these injustices, and, and root them out. I'm very I'm very excited to have more people in the courtroom to uh, have them present their cases. So thank you for joining us again, and have a good night, everybody. Can I make a suggestion before we? Oh, go ahead, Bailiff. Uh, what if you make a hashtag like Judge Magni, and then people can suggest questions, and that you could take a good one, and then no. This is why you're my bailiff, Vesper. I got you back, Judge. You heard you heard him first, folks. Judge Magni, if you would like to hear uh, the defendants uh, argue a specific thing, go ahead and t tweet. Judge Magni, perhaps. I hold on. Uh, let me make sure there's not some kind of judge, some poor Judge Magni out there, <laughs> just trying to do his, <laughs> trying to do his job. <laughs> I think we're good. Go ahead, Judge Magni. Hashtag Judge Magni for any future <laughs> prompts you would like to see the uh, 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 people plaintiff defendant argue here in the courtroom. Um, I, I do think, um, what day is it? So, uh, Mr. Regis Altair, in addition to your Twitter Batsu, where you will be, uh, 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 talking like a baby for a minimum of 10 seconds, uh, your torture is set to end around September of 2092. So we can mark that in the calendars, uh, take note of that. Um, Right. Mr. Sirios, thank you again for joining us. Uh, uh, everybody, thank you again, and we'll see you next time.